Advent, as you know, is just upon us right now, and uh, perhaps you'll be receiving this message as the season uh, is progressing. But uh, Advent is not so much a, even a time of year or a word as a state of being. Uh, Advent literally means coming to. Uh, we celebrate the God who always comes to us. And at Advent in particular, we open our hearts to accept the Lord coming into our lives. Remember that Jesus always encounters people wherever they are. He doesn't ask us so much to go to him. We have a God that comes to us. So we can rely on the Lord's presence. If we just give the Lord the time. Advent is a time in which we try to be more sober in our prayer life, in our habits. And of course, this time of year, with the challenges that we're under with the pandemic, that shouldn't be too difficult a thing to do. Many of us do feel a sense of being isolated, a sense of being alone, and uh, that can be a tremendous challenge. But it's an also an opportunity for us to listen and to find different ways of listening. And in that silence, in that quiet, in what times to see an almost insurmountable type of distancing, remember there's somebody there that doesn't take up a lot of space, but is always there to share our space. And that's our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that comes to us. So my prayer is that each and every one of us can open our hearts, take the time to allow the Lord into our lives, to see where he may be asking us to walk with him, asking us to grow, and perhaps asking us to let go of some of the patterns in our lives that really are not doing us much good in so many, many different ways. Advent is a call for conversion, a call for change, a call to let go of those things that are not so essential, the things that we can truly live without and to focus on the one thing that matters, God's love for us, our friendship, our faith, and our ability to share that with one another and to grow as God's family. May God bless you, strengthen your spiritual life during this journey of Advent, and also to help your families to continue to live in hope, in peace, and in good health. God bless you always.